Hello and welcome to today's video. If you're watching this, chances are you probably enjoy the simple pleasure of walking around, especially in Orlando, Florida. With year-round warm weather, it's almost always a good time for a walk in Florida. However, today we're going to be talking about something serious. We're going to talk about the risks that pedestrians face, particularly right here in Florida, which just so happens to be one of the most dangerous states for those on foot. Florida is consistently ranked one of the top most dangerous states for pedestrians. In 2022 alone, there were 10,159 pedestrian crashes in Florida. And of those roughly 10,000 crashes, 777 involved a fatality. And there were 7,886 people injured. In 2021, the statistics were very similar. There were 9,569 total pedestrian crashes, of which 835 were fatal, and 7,331 people were injured. Now, let's talk about pedestrian accidents in Orange County, Florida. In Orange County alone, and this includes Orlando, there were 664 pedestrian crashes in 2022. And as a result of those crashes, 57 people were killed and 585 people were injured. In Orange County in 2021, there were 631 pedestrian crashes. And as a result of those crashes, 70 people were killed and 541 people were injured. These crash numbers in Florida and in Orange County are absolutely insane. Cities like Orlando and Daytona Beach consistently top the list as the highest risk areas for pedestrians in the entire country. Thus, if you've been injured in a pedestrian accident in Florida, you're certainly not alone. You're among thousands of people in a similar situation. So who's at fault for a pedestrian accident in Orlando? Well, you might think it's obvious who's to blame when a car hits a pedestrian, but it's not always so easy to prove liability. Both drivers and pedestrians are obligated to follow the rules of the road. So pedestrians can be found at fault, which can make it difficult to pursue a personal injury claim. For example, if you ignore a don't walk signal and you get hit, you may have a hard time pinning the blame on the driver. Similarly, if you're jaywalking, you may be found to be at fault. But wait a minute, because when we're talking about who's at fault, we usually think about the police report. And that police report is not always admissible in Florida. In fact, it often isn't. So, just because the cop believed what the driver said, that's not necessarily the end of the story. Other evidence may be used to prove you didn't do anything wrong. For example, we may use camera footage from nearby businesses or dash cam footage to show what happened at the time of the accident. Also, there may have been witnesses who will testify that you were following the rules or that the driver was driving recklessly at the time of the crash. So what happens if you're partially to blame for the pedestrian accident? Well, in Florida, fault can be distributed between parties. This is called comparative negligence. In effect, what this means is that if you're found to be partially at fault, you can still recover for your damages, but your damages can be reduced by your percentage of fault. Additionally, Florida switched from a pure comparative negligence state to a modified comparative negligence state in March of 2023. Now, in a pure comparative negligence state, you could be mostly at fault, say 75%, and still get damages. Under modified comparative negligence, which is the current system in Florida as of September 2023, a person's claim is not valid if they're more than half at fault. So, if you're less than half at fault, you can still have a viable claim, but your damages may be reduced by your percentage of fault. Now, this leads us to the next question. How do you hold a driver liable for a pedestrian accident in Orlando? Well, you'll have to establish the four elements of negligence, which are duty, breach, damages, and causation. Duty, or duty of care, says that drivers are required by Florida law to act reasonably on the road and take caution to avoid hitting pedestrians. So, it's usually not hard to establish this first element of negligence. Breach of duty is what occurs when a driver violates traffic laws, like speeding or texting while driving, 
or otherwise breaches their duty to drive reasonably to avoid hurting pedestrians. You can prove breach of duty by using things like black box data to show that the driver was speeding, or you can use their cell phone records to show that they were playing around on their phone at the time of the pedestrian accident. The next element of negligence is damages. If you're not hurt, if you don't have medical bills or missed work or anything like that, you really have no business bringing a personal injury claim. Moreover, these types of claims aren't successful because you can't establish the damages element of negligence. A good case, a worthy case, will always involve damages, which can include things like ER bills, hospital bills, and other medical bills or rehabilitation bills. Damages also include things like missed work and pain and suffering. Now, let's say you've established that the driver owed you a duty of care, that the driver breached that duty, and you're now injured. The last element you have to prove is that the driver's negligence caused your injuries. Now this usually isn't too challenging in a pedestrian accident case because getting hit by a car will obviously cause harm. One thing to look out for here is the insurance company may try to say that you hurt yourself after the pedestrian accident. In other words, the insurance company likes to argue that you had some other accident after the pedestrian accident, and that's how you got hurt. The way to combat this tactic is to go get medical treatment right after your pedestrian accident. That way, you have your injuries documented, and by doing this, you take away one of the insurance company's favorite arguments. In summary, proving who's at fault for a pedestrian accident in Orlando will boil down to the evidence available. It may be clear as day on the police report. The officer may say it's the driver's fault for causing the accident. I talked to this person and this person and here it is. Other times, you may get stuck in a battle between your version of the story and the driver's, and the police report may even say that you're at fault. In these more difficult cases, you may need statements from nearby drivers or other witnesses or camera footage from nearby businesses. Ultimately, whether you have a successful Orlando pedestrian accident case will depend on whether you can prove the four elements of negligence, duty of care, breach of duty, damages, and causation. If you can prove all these elements, you have a strong pedestrian accident case. Well, that's all I have for you today. If you have any questions about your recent pedestrian accident, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We're happy to give you a free legal consultation and talk with you about what happened. You can reach us at the number below in the video description, or you can find us at www.carelessdriver.com. Thank you so much for watching this video, and we'll see you next time.